Hi beauties and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to demo and give you guys my first impressions of the new Natasha Denona Sunrise Palette. I'm a huge fan of Dunkin Donuts, my favorite coffee in the world. I usually do just a hot coffee with creamy sugar. Someone from work mentioned to me that they love the Dunkin Donuts iced coffee with creamy sugar and caramel swirl and blueberry. And I have been hooked ever since. Hooked. I don't even want to think about how many pounds I'm going to gain with this. I decide to wear a t-shirt and be all dressed down when I'm talking about Natasha Denona. What am I thinking? So this is the palette. Everybody's already been talking about it here on YouTube, but girl works full time over here. It takes me a while to get my videos filmed and posted for you guys. I do my best though. I try. So we're going to dive into this, but before we do, I do have a surprise for you guys. I didn't forget about you. Summer in the Sun is on. If you have subscribed to my channel since last summer, then you may not be aware that every summer I host Summer in the Sun giveaways and I give away a different prize every single month that is valued around $50. Sometimes it is over $50. And in this case, for the month of June, the prize is over $50. So I will be giving away the Natasha Denona Sunrise Palette to one lucky winner. This one is mine here. So I'll talk to you guys further about the giveaway at the end of the video. So this is the packaging. It already has fingerprints on it. It has a full mirror here. And this is what the pan looks like. This is the sunset palette and this is the sunrise palette. So as you can tell, the size is very different. The color scheme is very different. The sunset palette has more browns and oranges. This sunrise palette seems to have some neutrals here, but also more pinks and then it has purple. So definitely not the same palette and if you have this one and you then go purchase the Sunrise palette, I think you'll be okay. You won't be getting the exact same palette. So that's good to know. I have a video on my channel where I talked about the Sunset and the Lila palette and whether it was really worth $129. I just wasn't so sure about it. I will say though, I use these palettes a lot more and like them a lot more ever since I purchased my Sonia G brushes. Perhaps her palettes are better suited for animal hair brushes, okay? Like goat hair. The Sonia G brushes have goat hair in them. So I have only been using those brushes now whenever I use the Natasha Denona palettes and that's what I'm going to use today. So here are the brushes I'm going to use. I have some Sonia G brushes and a couple of Wayne Goss brushes but they're all animal fiber brushes. I know that I like using this type of brush with her palettes now so I'm going to give her every opportunity to wow me. So I'm going to use these brushes. I use the Too Faced Shadow Insurance for my eyeshadow base, so I've already prepped my eyes. This palette is $65. The Sunset and the Lila palettes and some of the other ones that are this size are $129. The shelf life for the palette is 24 months. So in this palette, you're going to get 0.67 ounces of product. In the Natasha Denona Sunset palette, you get 1.2 ounces of product. So half the product, half the price, I'm with it. So let's try these out. I'm going to just swatch them all on my arm and I'll insert footage of the swatches. <laughs> I did some very unique swatches, guys. I like this. <laughs> I'm quite pleased with the color story that I see here. What do you guys think? I think it's really, really pretty for summer. I think it's gonna be gorgeous. Let's start with Morgan. It's like a peachy color. We're gonna try that as a transition shade. Ooh, whoa, very pigmented. And we're just gonna like test this out. I don't know what I'm creating, but not gonna go too far out, I don't think. Just, you know, testing, testing it out. I like the other two palettes a little better now that I have the natural hair brushes. Um, some of my first opinions of her um, palette still stands. I don't know why you need so many colors that look the same. But one thing that I did start to notice about her palettes 
is that um, the eyeshadow lasts all day. Like some of my other palettes, um, as the day wears on, the eyeshadow will start to get oily on my lid or whatnot. And with her palettes, the eyeshadow will last all day and it will look good even when I got ready to take my makeup off. So that's good. I'm just gonna keep blending. I need one more brush over here, guys. One more brush. One more brush. I do like my Morphe brush for like blending out edges of eyeshadow. It does help me blur my eyeshadow. And this is the Morphe E23. The other brush I'm using is um, from the Sonya G Pro Eye Set. I do have a video on my channel demoing that brush set. That's more of a crease color, so I'm gonna have to go in with something else. Very, very pretty. I'm gonna try a lot of colors, okay guys? So I wanna try Morning, which is this kind of um, peachy color here, right above Morgan, because I was hoping that I was gonna be able to blend that out like into the transition area, but it kind of stays wherever you put it. <laughs> So it didn't go up too high, which is good, but I kind of want a little lighter color here. Very smooth, that's for sure, yes. Yes. And now we're gonna go back into um, Morgan because we don't want to lose that color. Morgan was our first color. We'll go back into that. Oh, and you know what? I'm not getting any fallout. That's kind of good because I didn't put anything down. For, I didn't put anything down to catch fallout. I'm going to put down a little bit of translucent powder just in case I start to have a little fallout. So let's try the Worker Pro. Let's go into Carnelian. Let's do a little bit of Carnelian right here. Right over here on this side. Whoa. I don't want too much of it, but I just want a little bit on the edge here. And I'll blend that in a little bit. I like this color. Ooh. That's so beautiful. I think I'm going to try Clove, this darker color. Let's use the same brush. And we're just going to put it in the lower V right here. Oh my goodness, I love it. I really wanted to use this color because um, this palette doesn't really have a brown or black and this is probably the deepest, this is the deepest color in the palette. So I just wanted you guys to be able to see that you can add a little depth and definition. Ooh, it's kind of a purple color. We're gonna go back into Carnelian and just blend it out a little bit here on top. And just go back and forth between the two until I like what I see. So, pretty. so far guys, I feel like, and I don't know, it just may be me, but these are, you know, not as easy to blend as the other ones used to be. They seem a little different. Beautiful colors, but I do feel like I'm having to blend more like I put um that dark color here and I kind of created a line and I can't seem to make it go away like I'm having to like blend 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 to try to get rid of that harsh line there and it's not moving <laughs> and usually you can kind of blend stuff away but not this time they're not as creamy, guys, but I don't know. <laughs> and that may be, you know, this 24-hour eyeshadow primer I have down. It may be that. I'm going to put um, Aster, Aster. I'm going to put Aster on my lid here. I'm going to start with that color. I'm probably going to put multiple colors on my lid. I may need something else. I don't know if I like this. Huh, I need something else on my lid. I don't definitely know that. I just don't know which color I want to put on my lid. I'm going to try 
I'm gonna try Laurel here in the corner. <laughs> Let's put that beside the purple here and see what we get. I'm missing something. What am I missing, guys? <laughs> Let's try a little bit of this poppy color. It's kind of a red. Let me put that um, in the corner here. Just stay with me, guys, as I explore this palette. And then I think I'm still gonna go back into clove in the lower V here. I don't like this. I don't think I like this other color on my lid. I like this palette, but I don't think I like that color I put on the lid, so I'm just going to kind of cover it up because I don't like it, guys. I don't like it, but I'm going to have to do the same thing on the other lid so that it'll look the same. But we're just going to keep with this purple because I don't like what I put on. I'm sure once I finish everything, I'll like it. I'll like it better. I like what I'm coming up with. So I know I'm going to tweak this some more, but let me just do the same thing I just did to this eye, to the eye over here, and we'll keep going. I feel like I want the purple to stand out just a little bit more, the purple lid color. So let's use a little Fix Plus and see what we get. <laughs> see if we can intensify the color a little bit, okay? Let's see. Still working with Flox? Flax? Flox? I don't know what that says. The little red color over here. And it is a shimmer, but I am just kind of using it on the edge here. All right, guys. Whew, that required a lot of work. I feel like I just got off of work. I'm going to stop right here for a second. And let's figure out the lower lash line. I want to use as many colors as possible just to show you guys. But we'll go back to Morgan. We'll start with that color on the lower lash line. And then let's still use... Carnelian, Jasper, I haven't used that. Ooh, that's really pretty. Oh, that is gorgeous. You see that? That's pretty. I'm gonna just carry it like part of the way. That is really pretty. And I still wanna use my clove, which is that purple shade. We'll use that. Now that's looking good. And let's use my little squirrel hair brush just to kind of blow it out. I did not get that much um, fallout. And I was doing some work over here, but I didn't get that much fallout. Let's get rid of my bake here. Let me finish everything up i'm also going to highlight my inner tear duct i'll tell you guys whatever i use for that but i'm just gonna pop on some lashes do my liner and just kind of finish the look and then we're gonna talk about it i got some things to say all right so i have completed the makeup look i'm back and let's talk about my first impressions of the palette and i have been sitting here for quite some time to highlight my inner tear duct, I used a few things. Like I dipped into all of these lighter shimmers here. I ended up also using this gold in this Ofra palette. I used a different concealer today and I could see some of my dark circles. Not happy about it. There's <laughs> nothing I could do. <laughs> all right guys, so without a shadow of a doubt, I definitely think that the formula for the matte eyeshadows is different in the Sunrise palette than in the Sunset palette. I cleaned this up a little bit today, but typically this gets really, really dusty and has a lot of fallout because the mattes are so powdery and creamy and buttery. I actually have one of her mini eyeshadow palettes, and I think that the mattes in the mini that I have, the mini nude, are more like this palette. Maybe they're trying to address the fallout issue so that you have less fallout, so they aren't as creamy to me as the previous palettes. That being said, one of the qualms I had was that the eyeshadows blended so easily that they almost blended together. It was hard to create a distinct look where you could see multiple eyeshadows on your lid as far as the mattes. They all seemed to blend together because it was so buttery in the other two palettes that I have. Whereas these, they don't quite do that. You should be able to see that I have multiple eyeshadows on my eye versus it all kind of looking muddy. 
So that's good, but it also means that you have to blend more. Like I felt like I was blending forever. <laughs> that's not a bad thing. I just felt like I had to blend a lot, you know, to make sure I didn't have any harsh lines. I felt like I had to blend more than I typically do with her palettes. I like the eyeshadow look that I created today and I really think that the color story is beautiful. I actually really like the colors. I love every matte color that I use. I thought they were gorgeous. I love this reddish color here. I'm not saying the shades because it's upside down <laughs> so I can't read them all but every color that I used on my eye I thought it was beautiful and I love how it all turned out. I definitely think the name is very fitting, Sunrise. It's just got all of those reds and yellows. I think that some of these lighter shades over here will be really good for every day. I did like experiment a little bit and I put one of these colors on my lid and I just didn't like it for today's look, but it was still a very pretty color. So all in all, I think this is a beautiful palette. Just don't expect everything about it to be similar to the Sunset palette or the Leela palette. So this palette does get the stamp of approval from me. I like that she makes smaller pan sizes. The price is more affordable for people who want to try her palettes. So that's my demo of this new palette. If you have any questions about it, leave them down below and I will respond. So now let's talk about the Summer in the Sun giveaway. So this is my first giveaway for summer 2019. This is the June giveaway and I am giving away this Sunrise palette to a lucky winner. This giveaway is open internationally. You must be 18 years old or older in order to win. You will click the raffle copter link in the description box that will take you to raffle copter and that is where you will officially enter. Remember that in order to win you must subscribe to my channel, comment down below any comment that you want that is positive, and like this video. It helps me out if you make your subscriptions public as well as your liked videos. It is easier for me to verify your entry so that I can select you as a winner. If I can't verify that you have met all the requirements, I will be forced to choose another winner. So please make sure that you do those things that will really help me out. This giveaway will be open until June 30th. Shortly after June 30th, I will select a winner and I will email the winner. You do not have to leave any of your personal information here in the video. Just leave it at Rifflecopter. I will get the information from there and I will email you. Just be sure to check your email. I have had winners that did not check their email, so therefore they did not win. So you will have 48 hours to respond to my email before I choose another winner. Also, if you are international, make sure that you know any mailing and shipping rules for your country. I don't pay any fees that your country bestows upon you. So please make sure that you know any of the rules about receiving packages from the U.S. In addition to the requirements, there are other ways that you can enter this giveaway and get additional entries. It increases your chances of winning and there are ways for you to enter every single day. So be sure to check all of the options at Rafflecopter. Anything that I have left out will be in the description box. So check there so that you know all of the giveaway rules. There have been times when I have had to select many, many times before I found a winner who followed all of the rules. Remember that I will be hosting a giveaway every single month. I may not post the giveaway at the beginning of the month as I have in the past. So be sure to check throughout the summer for different giveaways that I'm going to be hosting. So I hope that you have enjoyed today's video. I love bringing you guys these demos and reviews and I also enjoy giving back to you all and thanking you for supporting my channel. So good luck to everyone and again if I've left anything out it will be down in the description box and I hope to see you guys again very soon in my next video. So until the next time we meet again, this is Savvy signing out.